effects now i'm making two videos straight and this video i think this topic is uh, something that has been a while on my head for the last three four weeks and now I'm, it's about time to think about it um and it's about newly arrived migrants who chase regardless of american dream or australian dream or whatever western country dream they chase right and they started to understand or not really understanding the taste right of course, there's a reason why people buy houses in good suburbs or, you know, those who have good schooling or good neighbourhood. But those nearly migrants who bought houses in further out that used to be no, but not a very popular city or perhaps not, it used to be a farmland and needs to be newly developed in the new suburbs. And it's very price attractive, you know, cheap land, package you know buy a cheap house as well um you know uh you know chase the australian dream uh, which is fine nothing wrong with that but those who live in australia and who's born in australia who has noticed the fact that regardless if you're living a very heavy migrant suburban neighborhood and you're surrounded by kids who are newly arrived migrant background and they're just barely entering the second generation and struggle to juggling between the culture clash or speaking you know um, english language and as well um, you know having their own language back in their home right it thumbs down the education system and as well um you bring out this pack mentality uh, method, uh, this sort of schooling behavior, because um, newly arrived migrants, um, you know, obviously the English is not as very strong as, you know, uh, compared to a local born. Um, but the, the huge differences between is that um, I could give you one scenario, right? All right, a newly arrived migrants, they won't be strongly, strongly emphasizing on or not knowing of the education system. They think, you know, chucking kids to school and educating, that's it, that's how it is. Maybe because they never had a good education, or perhaps they have limited education as a parent. Uh, or maybe they are skilled migrant, but they didn't care too much. They were the kids hustling. But there's a huge difference on raising a child in the Western world, especially if you raise your child in a highly migrant area. Now, I've spoken to... Um, uh, my co-worker was uh, explaining about her daughter. Uh, she's, she's from... You know, this family is an African descent background. And, you know, the school is pretty uh, mixed race, uh, probably more of the Indi in Indian background, right? Um, so my, the co-worker, the mother told me that a child is very smart, but she always gets bullied in school. When you have this sort of Mac, uh, pack mentality uh, dominance of, Skill, you know, whether it's skilled migrants or perhaps just migrants, uh, heavy migrants in that sort of suburban, they shows a bit more like the ghetto style, the more like you know, like the low socioeconomic belief, a lot heavier than those who live in you know in a good neighborhood, good school uh, area. And what the mother told me is that the only way for her child is to uh, break out this bully or show the bully who she really was is the fact that she has to chuck her to play sports. And if she's good at sports, she gets respect from her bullies. So, which is one thing that you'd never hear this sort of stuff if you live in a good neighborhood school or, you know, like people out there, they compete with each other to have a high IQ or be friends with each other with a high IQ. But when you have a school like that and your kids are bullying each other because you're smart, it brings down your child 
down to her knees or perhaps mental health or suicidal. God knows what's going to happen, right? Uh, stunned their learning growth, right? Which once upon a time, they had sort of like elite IQ uh, you know, in their school grade level. But now it has to be pulled down because it has to please the bullies, right? And one thing that most people don't quite understand, like mainly newly migrants, is that, you know, when you go to this sort of type of suburb, you make sure you take to your kids to a good school. You can't just take the kids to any other school like that. That's one of them, all right? Another part is this is a real one, all right? So my current, I currently live with my, miss, uh, my girlfriend and with a family, extended family and as well. And, you know, I, I get to spend time with the nephews and things like that. But the nephews have been telling me, like, you know, bizarre stories, like, you know, getting getting bullied by a sixth grade where he's the first grade. Or perhaps, you know, uh, people bully him because he's small. And you get that sort of ghetto or this pack mentality and be on the same level. And especially one of the big boy, um, he's been telling me like, you know, he's showing off you know, all the expensive stuff. And I just told him, what is this expensive stuff? You show off to your friends, all this expensive stuff. What do you really get out of it? Yeah, you got this iPhone. Yeah, you got this, you know, $500 jumper or this and that. What does that make you? Like, does it make your IQ? Are you going to buy people who have high IQ? To stay with you. You try to be the cool kid on the school block. And this sort of hierarchy system. Right. Even myself. I grew up that sort of hierarchy system. Try to be cool. Try to be like blending with the cool kids. And this and that. What do I get out of it? Alright. These cool kids that I used to know. Is either they had kids really early. That's pretty lucky. Or they're in jail. Or they're still drug dealing nowadays. Now, I'm pretty sure this type of scenario wouldn't happen to what my nephew is. But as I get older, I look at this. I'm like, if you're going to raise your kid, make sure you know how you raise your kid. All right. In the Chinese, we have a word for it. 只会生不会养. It means that you only know how to give birth, but you don't know how to raise a child. If you don't know how to raise your child, it's your, it's your failure. Parenting responsibility to raise that child to be a full grown up successful man or woman to enter a good, you know, uh, friend circles or a career uh, f a circle and network. You failed just because he has to be fit in this cool category. And this is the hierarchy system where when you take your kids to that sort of schooling, bad schooling, this is what you're going to get. 